Words have immense power to change your life and others. How would you like to earn $5,000 writing and giving virtual or in-person speeches? Even if you've never spoken publicly before, are terrified of public speaking, or have no idea what to say, don't let any of these things stop you. Simply follow Eric Anderson's proven process to discover how simple it is to use your unique story, no matter how simple or humble it appears to be, to create amazing and moving content, connect with your audience, change people's lives for the better, and amass a treasure trove of riches by speaking from your experience and heart. Everything begins with a story. Your story, Eric's story, we all have a story to tell, and believe it or not, people want to hear it. Why do people want to hear my story? You may ask. Because your story is authentic, it makes you real, and we are all hardwired to listen to stories. We learn about things from stories, comprehend the world around us, and, without a doubt, make sense of who we are and our purpose from stories. Because storytelling is at the heart of Eric's process, now is a good time to tell you a little about the author, Eric Anderson, and his story, Warts and All. He was born as one of nine children to a single mother. Can you imagine how difficult this must have been? His mother wanted the best for him, and that meant giving him up for adoption, but the foster home he went to was not the best. Eric was abused and bounced from one home to another. It wasn't a very auspicious start in life. However, just as every cloud has a silver lining, someone at one of these grim stops showed him a magic trick. Looking back, it was a simple card trick but to a lonely little kid without much hope and all too exposed to the savageness of life, it was so much more. Eric sensed that things, no matter how overwhelming, were not set in stone, there was a fluid nature to life and things could change. There was a mystery to life, as well as wonder, and with magic, all things seemed possible. At that moment, he fell in love with magic and dreamed of someday becoming a professional magician. So Eric was shuffled about like an old newspaper, he moved from one foster home to another, always with a deep sense of not being valued or wanted. At school, he barely got by and just kept his head above water to graduate. But in spite of the negativity, he kept alive his dream and one true love, magic, or maybe magic was the thing that kept him alive. After school, there was a stent in the Air Force, serving his country as a cook in the kitchen. He loved the work, but he kept dreaming of one day being a professional magician, so he practiced and honed his craft. Then one day he happened to go into the headquarters for the Air Force Base newspaper. The editor found out about his love of magic and wanted to write about it. The story was a huge success, and everyone soon knew about the budding magician they had on base. But more importantly, Eric learned about publicity, the power of it and how media outlets needed to fill space with content and were willing to trade free publicity to fill this content. The story made a huge impression, and the power of free publicity is something he never forgot. After the military, he worked as a cab driver. The monotony of the work weighed on him, and his dream seemed to be dim. One day, while driving through the old neighborhood of his terrible childhood, a terrible thought came to him. He felt a grim desire to do this thing. But at the same time he knew that if he went down that road, his life would be forever changed for the worse. For a moment, he stood at a crossroads in his life. It took all his resolve, but he turned away from that negative and wrong thought. Then there was just a burning desire to leave and start over. So he got a few things together and got on a bus, heading to Atlanta for a new, fresh start. After a rough start, things started to turn around in Atlanta. He got a job as a corporate magician, working trade shows and corporate events and openings. He was doing okay. He started incorporating some of the things he'd learned along the way. Star, Story, and Solution Following the advice of world-renowned sales and marketing expert Gary Halbert, he incorporated the concept that to sell anything, you need three things, a star, that's you, a story, yours, and a solution, what you're selling. In addition, he remembered the words of his early mentor, Charles Russell, who told him to use the same energy he'd put into magic on other things in life. The notion that everyone is good at something, that everyone has succeeded at something, and that you can use that process to become good at other things. Relying on this advice and incorporating these principles into his act, Eric started to thrive. 
One day a friend told him to incorporate his personal story, the struggle, and his rough start in life into his act. At first, he hesitated. Why would anybody want to hear about that gloomy old stuff? He thought. But one day, on a whim, after finishing up his routine, he told the audience a little about his background and his start. He was stunned with the standing ovation he got at the finish. After the show, the people gathered around the stage wanting to meet him and tell him how much they appreciated what he shared. Eric was amazed. In this single event, he learned the true power of a story. Specifically, everybody has a story. That story is an incredible asset, and that story will create a powerful connection with any audience. He also learned the power of being humble and telling it just the way it happened. The struggles that you overcame, or are still wrestling with, are particularly valuable. An audience identifies with these struggles in their own lives. If you're perfect, the audience will break you, but if you show your own brokenness, then you build a real connection with the audience. When the concept is distilled, it goes something like this. When you show that you are perfect, the audience wants to break you. When you show that you've been broken, the audience wants to fix you. Eric had the story concept and understood the importance of the story at this point, but he didn't know how to translate it into a formal form and convey it to an audience, a keynote speech for example. Thinking about it, and through trial and error, he came up with a form that works well. Signature Story, and Three Buried Treasure Stories You start with your signature story, who you are, where you come from, your struggles, brokenness, and what has become a solution to your problems. Then you incorporate the three buried treasure stories. Buried treasure stores can be thought of as sub-stories that illustrate a point or an event that you've learned something from. So, if you use this format for a successful speech, it will include your signature story as well as three buried treasure stories. This form is an idea to create a powerful keynote speech and connect with your audience. No only will this simple formula earn you substantial amounts of money, but once you know it, and work through this process, you can create and give the most powerful and amazing speeches that will change your life as well as others. Call Eric today and unlock the power of your own personal story.